Places like Melanie's Roti Grill can now be three quarters full indoors. It's amazing. You know, you can start paying bills with that. You know, you can afford to pay bills and it's a sense of normalcy. Restaurant owner Sunita Narain is thrilled that businesses like hers and salons like Dultimate here on Castle Hill Avenue can be open at 75% capacity. But Narain says that because she can't find enough people to wait tables and cook, she can't spare even 20 minutes to go and get a vaccination. That's the reason for this. Oh, you want to get vaccinated? Yeah. Brother, did you get vaccinated already? It's free. This is the biggest challenge as the city and our region continue to open up, getting more people to go ahead and get vaccinated. According to city and state figures, two of every three people you encounter in New York City are not fully vaccinated. It's why. Thank you all for all the work that you're doing. Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez was out encouraging people to get vaccinated, and Mayor Bill de Blasio joined her at a mobile pop up site. But the situation has critics. We need a fleet of mobile vaccination vans. This is a start, it's got to go much bigger. City Council Health Committee Chair Mark Levine says as the city opens up more, it can't do so with maximum safety without giving more vaccinations right where people are. If we don't get much farther along, we're going to continue to have outbreaks, uh, localized concentrations, and, and the ultimate nightmare scenario is new variants emerging. But both the mayor and AOC say they're doing a lot and intend to do more efforts like this. But I think that it's just a small piece of a larger strategy of grassroots health care. I'll tease, tune in on Monday, there's a lot more coming. <laughs> because we're going to go out to the people, we're going to work with community leaders, and we're going to make it a little more fun, we're going to offer a few more incentives. <laughs> Stay tuned. So we will, of course, hold him to that. Back to restaurants here. Some locals saying that the new capacity levels are great for local restaurants, but at some national fast food chain stores around, they say the dining rooms are not open at that capacity. They say that's a problem, and they want the city to go about enforcing this 75% open level. Right now, reporting live from the Castle Hill section of the Bronx, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.